Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to walk you through fixing that critical process died blue screen error on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. You know, the one that pops out of the blue and tells you your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. Yes, we are gonna tackle that head on. Now, there are a couple of scenarios you might be facing. If you're lucky enough to get to your desktop and see all your usual icons and stuff, great. Just click on your search box or in the start menu type reset this PC. From there, choose reset this PC from the suggestions. Next, look for the option that says advanced startup. Hit the restart now button and then do it again. That will bring up the advanced options we need. But what if you can't even get to your desktop? Don't worry, we have got a fix for that too. Just hold down the power button on your laptop or PC until it shuts down. Then power it back on. When you see the Windows logo, force shut down by holding down the power button again. Do this three times and on the fourth reboot, you will see those advanced options. Now, once you are in the advanced options menu, click on troubleshoot, then advanced options. From there, try the startup repair options first. If that doesn't do the trick, don't try it. Just go back to the same menu and choose command prompt. A black window will pop up with a blinking cursor. Don't panic. Just follow along with the commands you'll find in the description below or at the bottom of your screen. First up, type boot rec space forward slash fix MBR and hit enter. Then boot rec space forward slash fix boot. If you see an access denied message, don't worry, just move on to the next command. Next, type boot SECT space forward slash NT60 space SYS and hit enter. After that, type boot rec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter. And then boot rack space forward slash rebuild and hit enter. Then it's SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This one might take a bit. So be patient while it scans your system files for any issues. Once that's done, it's time for chk dsk space c column and hit enter. This will check your disk for any problems. Once it's finished, go ahead and restart your computer. Close out of the command prompt and click on continue. If all went well, your disk or hard drive issue should be sorted and you should not see that dreaded blue screen anymore. If this fix worked for you, consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a thumbs up. And if you are still having trouble, drop a comment down below. We are here to help. Take care and see you in the next one.